G'day, I'm James, and welcome to a puzzle I'm calling the Crazy Ones Puzzle. It goes as follows. Take 10 objects, like 10 pebbles, 10 coins, 10 cucumbers, 10 whatevers. And what you need to do is split that 10 into two piles of any size you'd like. Maybe you'll go with 6 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 1, 2, 3, 4. And the reason why this is called the Crazy Ones Puzzle is what you do now is you'll write down a six-digit number composed of nothing but ones. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. You write a four-digit number composed of nothing but ones. 1, 1, 1, 1. One, and you'll multiply them together. Now I haven't had that answer in my head because I did this earlier on. It's one, two, three, four, 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 three, two, one. Great. And then you keep doing it with the piles you have right now. So that six might split into say a three and a three. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Here come the crazy ones. Write a three-digit number of ones, one, one, one. A three-digit number of ones, one, one, one. Multiply them together, and this is a one, two, three, two, one. I just happen to know that one. Um, okay, keep going. For example, this four, you might want to split into, I don't know, two and two. Two and two. Okay, one, one times one, one is 121, just 11 times 11. Uh, that three could split into say a two and a one. 2 and a 1. That 3 can also split into 2 and a 1. I'll do those simultaneously. A 2 and a 1. 2 and a 1. So I've got a 2 and a 1. 11. A 2 and a 1. 11. 11 times 1. 11 times 1. Okay, great. Keep splitting. I've got some 2's here. That can split into a 1 and a 1. That one can split into a 1 and a 1. This one can split into a 1 and a 1. And that one can split into a 1 and a 1. 1, 1, 1, 1. So I've got a 1 and a 1, a 1 and a 1, a 1 and a 1, and a 1 and a 1. One and a one, one and a one, one and a one, one and a one. So equals one times one is one, equals one, equals one, equals one. Okay, they're my crazy ones. Now what am I doing? I say take these crazy products from these crazy ones and just add them all up. And what do you get? I don't know. I'm going to add them up. Okay, so it's one, two, three, uh, four, 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 three, two, one, plus one, two, three, two, one, plus one, twenty-one, plus a twenty-two, I see, plus a four. And I get... The sum, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Which seems awfully nice. Whoa, whoa. In fact, let's do it again. I'm gonna clean the board and we'll make different choices and I bet we get that same sum. In fact, watch me, I clean the board. Okay, board is clean, ready to go again with different choices along the way. Um, okay, 10, let me split it a different way. Um, I won't draw, draw dots this time, let me just write numbers, eight and two, hopefully that's okay. All right, so eight, uh, one, 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 times 11, one, one, great. Uh, I believe it's gonna be a nine digit number with a whole bunch of twos in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven twos in the middle, I believe that's what's gonna be. Double check me on that one. Okay, eight, uh, let's do, I know, three and five. Uh, so one, 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 times one, 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 one. Okay, that's going to be, I believe, a seven digit number is going to get me up to the threes. One, two, three, uh, three, two, one, with another three in the middle. Oh, double check me on that one. I'm just kind of guessing patterns here in my head. Hopefully that's right. Um, okay, but let's keep going. The two go into a one and a one. Okay, one times one equals one. That one I know is right. Um, maybe the five can go to a two and a three. Whoops, two and a three, ahead of myself. Uh, one, one times one, 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 which I believe is gonna be one, two, three, two, one. I think that's right. Um, oh, no, 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 it's not gonna be that. No, 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 I'm not right on that one. It's gonna be um, one, two, two, one. Let's try that. Okay, uh, what's next? A three can go to a two and a one. One, one times one is 11. The two can go to one and a one. One times one is one. The two can go to one and a one. One times one is one. Uh, the three can go to a two and a one. Well, 11 times 1 is 11, and a final 2 here, 1 times 1, 1 times 1, 1. I think it's 10 piles now, and I think we're done. Hopefully my guesses of patterns of how these things multiply are correct, because now I'm going to add them up and see if we get that magic number. Um, let's go for them. I'm really going to do it here. 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 1. Was that 7? Seven twos? Oh my goodness, I can't even count basic. Okay, that's correct. Plus one, two, three, 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 two, one. Plus one, plus one, two, two, one. Plus a 13, plus a 12 is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh my goodness, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's that magic number again. So the question is, what's going on? Why are we getting that same magic number every single time, no matter what choice you make along the way? Try a few more diagrams. Keep getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Why? What's special about that and why does it work? And is this puzzle only true for the number 10? Or can you start with other counts to begin with and get other special magic numbers? There's so much to think about here and try to explain. What wonder, what awe, what joy. So have fun with this and um, see, if you, see how far you can go with it. Great stuff.